It is now 648, and joining us this morning is South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Doug Wilson. He is a former Assistant Secretary of Defense for Public Affairs. Thanks for joining us this morning. There's a big event that's happening this morning at 11 o'clock at the Military Honor Park. It's going to kick off something that is not only unique to this area, it's unique to the entire country. And Secretary Wilson, wanted to ask you about something that's called the Vets Community Connections, and it really helps military members transition back to living in the United States. It does, and it does so by involving the community. We talk a lot about community reintegration, and this initiative is intended to provide uh, a channel for more people in the community to participate in that. And it's a, it enables them to do so on their own time and based on their own experience and expertise. I think a lot of people want to know how to do more than just say thanks for your service, but don't necessarily have a lot of time uh, to, to participate. By taking a call from a vet or a military spouse and being able to answer a question, this helps them build the networks to be able to get back into civilian life. So this is designed not just for veterans, but also active duty? Veterans, active duty, and military families. Um, people who are coming back home from the battlefield, uh, who are drinking from a fire hose when it comes to the vast array of information available to them. But they often can only go to websites, things that are rather impersonal, and don't don't know how to judge the information that they're getting. This is a way for what we call the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, everybody in communities to be able to say, yes, I'll take a call from a vet or I'll take a call from a, from a family member. And in my area of expertise, happy to give the information. And why South Bend? One of three pilot sites nationwide. Yes, it was South Bend, uh, San Diego, and Maricopa County, Phoenix, Arizona. South Bend was chosen because it's middle America. Uh, because it represents um, a smaller type of community. Uh, it also has Notre Dame and a big university population. But I think probably more than anything, it was because Mayor Buttigieg said, what we want to do with this program is demonstrate to veterans that they're wanted here. We want to recruit veterans to come here and apply their talents. That's the core of the message, and you couldn't have had a better rationale. So and, we said yes. And Mayor, this is personal and policy for you. How is this going to work specifically through the city? So, you know, for me, this is part of our goal of establishing South Bend as one of the most veteran and military family-friendly cities in the country. Uh, a lot of people have uh, different feelings about veterans. My feeling is we should be competing for them. And so that's the policy interest. A and it is personal. You know, I think about some of the people I served with who are going to be maybe retiring from active duty or coming back from a deployment. I want them to, to know that South Bend's got a reputation as the kind of place that's easier to navigate because we're doing vets community connections, because they know that they can call 311 and be linked to a community volunteer who can help them find anything from a, a dog park to a dentist right here in South Bend. All right, Mayor, thanks very much for being with us this morning. Secretary Wilson, we appreciate your time as well. Thank you. 11 o'clock this morning, Military Honor Park. You can learn much more about that. Thanks very much for being with us. Carrie, let's get caught up on the forecast.